A lot of you responded in my last video by offering to set me up with all your friends, which is nice of you. Thank you for subjecting your friends to me. However, I think my friend Drew Ma beat you all to the punch and set me up with the greatest thing ever. Ah. It's got Spider-Man comics. I got Spider-Man comics. So thanks, Drew, so much. I'm going to read through all these and get them right back to you in pristine condition. I'm just going to sit in my room and just read Spider-Man comic books all day long, and it's just going to be, it's going to be a great day. I was talking to someone recently who was kind of saying that they were upset that Spider-Man and all the other comic properties are getting so popular, which if you think about it is really stupid and not very logical at all, because why would you want a thing that you love not to be known by a lot of people? Middle school story time. As we've already determined, in middle school I was a nerd and I didn't have a lot of friends and things like that and I was obsessed, obsessed with Lord of the Rings. And then the movies came out. And I'm freaking out and I'm just like, oh my god, Lord of the Rings is gonna be great, it's gonna be a wonderful movie! Then we had a class field trip and went to saw Fellowship of the Rings and I knew everything that was gonna happen because I've read the book so many times and I've listened to the radio production so many times and I've read the comic book so many times, but no one else in the theater knew what was gonna happen. So they were all just sitting there in awe and their minds were blown and I was like, right, right, right! And then on the train home this amazing thing happened where everyone from my class swarmed around me and started peppering me with questions. So like, he's not, he's not really dead, right? Like Gandalf, he, he's, is he dead? I just keep looking at them and being like, Pfft. it's not like he was gonna stay in the same wizard's robes forever. And I hold on to that moment from middle school because it was the only time then that people actually looked at me for answers about this culture that they knew nothing about but became excited about. But after that subway trip back, they didn't pay me any mind, but I didn't care for that. I had that one moment, and I knew that moment was going to happen again. And right now, it's happening again. Any one of the top grossing films in the past five years has all been based on comic books that I bought with my lunch money that people couldn't understand why I did. I was told in middle school and high school that my love of science fiction would never, ever equal me getting a girlfriend. And guess what? One time I brought a girl over to my dorm and showed her all my books, and what did I get? Her number! So shut the hell up. Comic book writers and artists are becoming household names. Events like Comic-Con and VidCon are selling out within days of the tickets being put on release. So to any geek in middle school right now who's struggling with being bullied for about what they're passionate about, just remember this. It's not like your wizard robes are gonna stay the same. Eventually, we're all gonna be white wizards, motherfuckers. I'll see you guys Thursday.